and the Emmy goes to... I really don't know what's going on inside his mind. Standard Deviation, a student-produced film by the University of Florida's Documentary Institute. While U.S. program is turning out award-winning movies, the future of the Institute looks a little bleak. Most know UF is facing major budget cuts across all areas, but this is just one of the programs UF is slated to lose. It hurts. It hurts a great deal. Um, we felt like that, uh, you know, this is really a fine program. The students like it. The alumni like it. Uh, every previous administration has praised it <laughs> to the sky. The problem that many departments face at UF is pressure from the state to cut back on spending. College of Journalism and Communications Dean John Wright says it's something he's had to deal with from day one of his job. Over the past two years I've had to cut two million dollars out of my budget and the fact is that difficult choices have to be made and we just can't keep doing everything that we've been doing. Favoritism didn't play a role when Dean Wright was deciding what to cut. Essentially to get to nine hundred thousand dollars in cuts I had three programmatic choices. The Documentary Institute was one, the doctoral program in the college, and that's never going to happen. Or I could go in and essentially decimate one of our four departments, uh, and that's just not possible either. Dean Wright says the Documentary Institute uses 40% of the state budget, which is about $250,000 for only 20 graduate students. For those who work in the department, the possibility of losing the program is hard to believe. It certainly hurts the prestige of the college, and, and it, it definitely hurts the prestige of the University of Florida. I mean, you, you don't give up a program that's rated a top 10 program. You do that and you know you're you're basically as I told you I just spent an hour on the phone yesterday I got a call from somebody at Stanford and she was just like you you know you can't be serious <laughs> you know uh, so. But the Dean is serious and so are the state's economic problems. No one is expecting a turnaround anytime soon further diminishing any hope that the award-winning Doc Institute will be able to survive at UF. Kimberly Quizon, WUFT News.